Uh, welcome to Classic Car Cave. So, um, yeah, there's a few, few little more jobs to do on the uh, on the Mini. We're waiting for the seat belts to come, and so I don't want to take it too far for a drive in case I get stopped or whatever. I mean, it's legal, it's insured, uh, it's got all the bits and pieces it needs. It just hasn't got the seat belts in it yet, so I want to make sure I've got those, which we're going to get in June. A friend of mine's bringing them over with him, um, and the last thing I really need to do now is just get the suspension tuned up. We've got it sitting around halfway so I'll, I'll try adjusting it uh, different on the back and the front and then just try up and down this road here and just to see if I can get the suspension really quite nice. Uh, but it's running beautifully, it starts with the press of the, of the key and yeah very happy with it and, it and it goes very very well so I think they'll be quite happy with the performance out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm take it, I've been take, taking it for a run uh, what I'll do now is I'll put it away for the night. Um, it's been really lovely here again today. It was yesterday in in uh, well on Sunday in Vienna. It was it got up to 20. It was supposed to be 26, and I think it went to nearly 28. It was lovely here yesterday. But I was doing my Forest Gump impressions, mowing all the lawns on my tractor, uh, which is other jobs that I've got to do. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a little test run. Uh, I'll put it on the ramp tonight, I'll readjust it again and then take it out tomorrow and see how we get on. And uh, I'll go over some of the other stuff as well, the XK and a few other bits and pieces. Easy to get over the roof off, that's for sure. So I'm going to take these uh, chevrons out of this uh, Citroen radiator grill, uh, and I checked it. It's definitely aluminium. You can feel the weight of it. But I've cleaned it up a bit there. It's definitely aluminium. So and they're quite bad state anyway. They're quite badly bent here. So I'm going to take them out and, and actually try it on without the chevron in it, and just see how they look, and then we'll go from there. So uh, I'll take the other side out and it's a, you've got to be a little bit ginger with it because obviously it nips these pieces here. What they've done is they've stretched out each piece inside. So I'm using those long nose pliers there to try and catch them. I'll, uh, I'll speed it up but I'll, I'll see if I can film one coming out. This is the Self-Preservation Society This is the Self-Preservation Society Go wash your German badge of blood rights too Come your bonnet fair, we got a lot to do Put on your dicky dirt and your pick and ride Cause time's too hurrying by Get your skates on mate, get your skates on mate no bib around your Gregory Peck today Hey, from your plates of meat Right upon the seat This is the Self-Preservation Society This is the Self-Preservation Society Gotta get a moving, move on So that's how it looks without the two chevrons in it. I don't know if that's better or not. Uh, but it's, they're all still badly bent. And what I have to do is try and clean them, straighten them up, and then and then go from there. But uh, yeah, it's a start anyway. They had to come out. They were very badly uh, corroded. The aluminium pieces. So we'll see. And those lights are not going to stay with it. Um, they're from a, Ma a Massey Ferguson 35, uh, yeah, Massey Ferguson MF35. I'll, you get the big lights done if it's possible and use them. Yeah, so as you can see, we're down in the garden getting ready for now the 
it's spring and uh, my wife wants to use the pool again. That's the only downside with these stones is they get quite uh, messy with moss on them and uh, this uh, blaster um, won't work very well underwater so I have to get a, a wire brush now and try and give them a clean on the corner. Uh, but Amir and Refka are back tomorrow so I'm going to get this one and that set of stairs on the other end done. Uh, and we're going to have a really good clean of the pool this year. Use that uh, machine that I made. But uh, I'd, I'd give it a cut, but just a very light cut. And all the daisies have turned into these, or what are they, dandelions, and turn into these things afterwards. I'll give it a little cut, but uh, it needs another one. The uh, gypsy caravan there, we've got to finish that up this year as well. Got loads of projects to do. But it's looking nice. We did finish that last year, the swing. This was in quite a poor state. Uh, put a new base on it here and did these uh, these side pieces were rotten on both sides so we had some new ones made. That's looking nice now. So I'll take you down the bottom. We only cut these two days ago and they spring straight up again. Oh, they're cold. Uh, got quite still quite a bit to do. But uh, now's the time when we have to work in the garden a lot. So I'm looking for a wire oh, brush down here. This has all got to go to the junk. It's all the stuff from the mini. All the old carpets and things. That's all going to the junk pile. And all exhaust, the inners. Oh. There's the original uh, door cards that they had. You can see they're made out of tin or something, they're really badly done. But they were made out of tin, it's, it almost looks like they were made of the other inside of a barrel, but they're poorly done. There's the other one there. Look, like they've corroded to hell. There's a smashed front bumper exhaust system. So all this crap's got to go to the there's storage. There's the floor that we cut out, or part of it anyway. And there's all sorts got to go. Uh, yeah. So this year I'll get the uh, the pool sorted out. Um, this is these hoses we use in here. I'll turn the lights on. That might work a bit better. Excuse me. I've got a bunch of new lights as well, oh, some old lights I've taken out of the garage, out of the wooden one, and I'll put them up I think. But this is this machine that I made, uh, and uh, we'll get that going again this year. What it does is it sucks the water out, uh, these spin on batteries, we've got batteries on these two uh, motors, they're washing machine motors, they spin. All the, all the thick algae stays inside, the water comes down, goes through the filter into another bath with a paper filter, straight back in the pool. Because the problem with it is, with the pool, is you can't, um, I can't afford to lose the water, you know, because you get water evaporation anyway on a pool that size. There's around about 700,000 litres in it. So we're trying to retain at least 96, 97% of the water. And this is the way we do it. What we used to do was pump it. We have another uh, piece, you can see that one here. This is a centrifugal pump here, this one. Uh, we use that to suck the water into here. And what we used to do was just run it down the back uh, when we were hoovering it and let it go down into this, uh, this ditch at the back here, which is not a stream, it's, a, it's just a, a water ditch because all the fields are at an angle. So, my neighbour next door here is Koi. So yeah, um, I need to give this place a clean up as well and get some shit sorted out. I've got crap everywhere. There's a new floor for the Mark III Mini. That's gotta be done this year. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is clean this out, bring the Citroen down here so we can do the work on it down here um, and get the garage all cleaned up for the summertime. And then uh, in here, we did do a second coat in here. It still isn't brilliant, but uh, it's good enough. 
can see when I shut the door. So it's quite good in here now. It will do for painting anyway, for what we want to do with it. And uh, there's enough room here. You can see the mini doesn't take up much space in here, considering how big the place is. And I'll take you back here. You can see, that's me stood up next to the door. So I'll get that done this year as well, and that'll be the last two projects, I think, car-wise. There might be the odd change in car, but it'll be small repairs. I'm not going to do any more big, complete restorations. It's just too much work now at my age. But the odd repair, that's not a problem. So I'm looking for a brush to clean those steps. I've, even, I've got to get that going. I bought that guillotine years and years ago and I still haven't... It works, but I still haven't used it. I bought it more as an ornament. Or a, and there's the inside of this little workshop. Is there a wire brush in here? I'll find one anyway. So yeah, just need a, a big, big clean out. But a big difference in here from what it was. And I think we've still got the end caps to do as well. I've got so many projects on, it's unreal. Yeah, I need to do up there a lot on both sides. Get these covered over. But there we are. So it's all the other bits and pieces we have to do. It's just all I've got on me and ref career. I would never be able to keep on top of it. I'd never get a chance to do anything else but gardening. So there we go. Just so I'll give you a little, little uh, thing into what we're doing. There's a lot to do in the summer here uh, on top of doing restoration and cars and things like that. It's, it's a lot to keep on top of. Anyway, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby. And uh, yeah, plod on. Take care, everybody. Bye.